Welcome back to the Can Open Challenge on CN8. And there is the champ, David Godwin, in place now to take on the winner of the Challengers match, Mike Sweeney. It's a two-game match, and uh, David will go first. He has been real good, as we documented for you at the uh, start of the show during his run, putting up some numbers uh, that you typically would see from the adult bowlers. Real powerful ball, drops six. Two, four, five, and seven. Four pins in the left-hand corner for Dave. Won't be long, too, before he uh, turns 18, from what I understand, and uh, he'll be bowling with uh, some of the adults competitively, perhaps on this program in the future. That's a nine to start. You wonder, because he's bowled four weeks and done so well, that that reputation and how many pins is that worth? You know? <laughs> with young bowlers, but I'll tell you, I just keep remarking about the poise that these bowlers have. Uh, John made terrific marks. He needed them, and then, of course, Mike came back with three clutch marks in a row to finish that game to win it. So we'll see how this shapes up. Our champ is open, the first two. Nine and a seven. And up steps Mike, who was uh, red hot to finish that Challengers game. The three consecutive spares. Which in the world of adult bowling here in the Candlepin Challenge would have earned him some bonus money. Oh, right where he left off. Still hot a strike to start. Finished with three spares. Now he gets his first strike, and it's a quick one. Take a look at the replay. Tripping that... Six pin for the strike <clears throat> and the early lead. Pulls that one left. Second ball and the fill coming up. First of two games to crown the champ. Total fill of just five. Missed opportunity for Mike early, and he knows it. Ends up making it an eight box, and he's up early by seven, 23 to 16. Wow. See, his average at 125 was in the 130 for a game average. When we showcased the uh, youth bowlers earlier this season. This is the head pin to the right. Come on, let's go. By his body language, you can see a little frustration. He has set the bar so high that it may be difficult to live up to that. Those of you interested in a mixed team tournament, first annual mixed teams tournament will be held at uh, Park Place Lanes in Wyndham, New Hampshire, June 16th and 17th. This team consists of three men and two women. So if you're interested in more details, uh, contact Park Place Lanes in Wyndham, New Hampshire, 603-898-4422. There's a big mark for Dave. And the swagger is starting to come back. Spare in the fourth for David. Head pin comes off the wall for the 4-7. Mike Sweeney in the third. Right back uh, looking for his looking, second strike. Looking and hoping, but instead <laughs> it's just nine. Not a problem with that four pin. Second mark on 35. One strike and one spare. I'll go over there. Mike not backing down from the champ at all. Seven on that spare. 
increases the lead to 16. Now he has to match the mark put up by our champ in the fourth. And he does. Bowling very well. That means Mark's now in six of the last seven because he finished with three spares in the challengers match. Now striking two spares. It's just enough to come off the left sidewall for that four pin. Three out of four boxes, Marks. Phillips six for David. Two, four, six, ten. Piece of wood in between the two and four. Don't know if it's going to be a help or a hindrance. Oh, terrific shot. Wow. With some style, no less. Take a look at this pin spinning. Wow. <laughs> and the 10 pin will finally go. There it goes. He's got just an explosive ball. like he's throwing harder than he ever did the last four weeks. I mean, he throws hard anyways, but... That gets him to 61. Mike Sweeney, the red-hot Mike Sweeney, marks in three of the first four. He's got two spares in a row, looking for a third here in the fifth. He'll have a chance with the 6-10. Chance for three in a row. Yes. Three in a row in four out of the first five frames. And if you want to go back to the Challengers match, it's seven out of the last eight. Posing a serious threat to David Godwin. I think we've established that. Phil of eight. Looking at the three six now. Trying to make it four marks in a row. That one just before the foul line. Missed to the right. Gain another three and count with a 10 box. Going to gain a couple. Gets his lead up to 24 pins. Wow, this one worth coming back for. More Candlebit Bowling right here on CNA. Next. <laughs> 